Yo, today we have four Quora questions going over the topics of confidence, motivation, creating your own path and positive affirmations. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. The first question is, what is more effective for motivation? Positive affirmations or negative ones or both? I would say positive affirmations as long as there is an understanding that humbleness should be employed too to avoid arrogance and high ego. Don't turn positivity into I'm better than him, her or anybody. Practice humbleness so you can avoid this. My videos discuss the differences between positive affirmations and negative affirmations and what both affirmations do to your mindset. The idea behind positive affirmations is that it boosts your self-esteem and positive belief system. I've mentioned it a lot in my videos as to why you should use positive affirmations and I will reference a video at the end. Click that video at the end where I talk about what's the benefits of positive affirmations. The next question is, what are the reasons why people follow trends instead of making their own way in life? Because for many, including me, it is easier to follow a way that is paved rather than go through the process of creating your own path. Copy and paste is easier than think and create. You get used to taking the easier paths and taking shortcuts and simply put copying and pasting things is, is a lot easier than just doing your own thing and, and starting something anew. Both are great when applied accordingly and you have to decide when it is best to use either one. And in reality, a mix of both is, is the best way to go. The next question is, what are some creative ways to stay motivated to work out? Firstly, I am not a professional trainer. I'm not that big myself. I just thought I'd give some advice based on what I've gone through. You can try to change your routine to something new, or you can go to the gym with friends that you haven't gone with to change the typical routine that you have. Novelty is something that is stimulating to us and something that we crave often. James Clear goes over this in his book Atomic Habits and discusses it very well. He spends two to three pages discussing the concept of novelty. So that is why changing up your routine can help you a lot in regards to motivation and staying consistent. Two other ways you can stay motivated when you are working out is to start tracking your progress because that gives you a track record of uh, progress that you're making. And the other one is accountability partners. When you have other people that are in contact with you and you are both checking on each other's progress that will keep you and the other person motivated the next question is what are some effective strategies for improving self-confidence at work it is similar to how you would in general however there are small differences that you can change for your specific situations use positive affirmations set small goals and work towards achieving them to increase your self-confidence in this case you can set small goals relating to your work i wrote a list of other key things you can do specifically relating to your job and the first thing i listed was to practice initiative and kind of practice the attitude of doing it yourself you don't need to ask all of the time sometimes it's a common sense thing where you can use your experience and your knowledge to do it yourself that helps you with self-confidence another thing is to start conversations because the more you get in the flow of starting conversations the more of a habit will become and it'll become something very easy for you the third thing is to share your thoughts opinions beliefs i learned this key thing in life and that being the difference between people liking you and people knowing you people like you when you listen to what they have to say and you hear them out people know you when they listen to what you say and what you talk about the fourth thing is to lead with kindness and this is an easy thing to do you know share genuine compliments just be a nice person and that doesn't really take too much out of you unless you are a horrible human being <laughs> So that's something very easy. It can be a way to start conversations, to end conversations on a good note. Lastly, is to practice humor. And this comes in two categories. The first is to laugh at jokes people make. Be more open to laughing and smiling. Second category is to make jokes and be the cause of laughter. Even if you're not someone who often cracks jokes, you know, try to do some lighthearted humor, just play around and it helps you build comfortability and confidence at work. Thank you very much for watching.